So this is the features uh, that I would like to see for the logo maker. Uh, so I would want you to be able to close your project, create a new project, um, open a project, be able to quit the program and be able to save a project. Um, let's open a project that we have here. So as you can see, uh, we are, I'm able to load a file into the program. Um, I need to just make some adjustments. So right now the shadow is a little bit off. So I want to just go ahead and move that along the X axis so I can use the control to do that. Um, I also think that the shadow is a little too light so I can change the opacity. And I think it's a little too horizontal. So if I want to change the skew on that, then I can use a controller to do that. Uh, uh, let me put some spacing. Uh, instead of uh, having uh, no spaces, I want to say dismissal in the middle. All right, and so since I did that, it made my text a little off, so I can adjust my y-axis for my text. I can also do that for the shadow. Uh, if I want the shadow to be a little bit higher, I, I can do that. Um, also, I don't really like this font, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a different font. I want you to be able to do that as well. So let's just go ahead and readjust. All right, and then also uh, I want you to be able to make the font bigger. So if I make the font bigger, you should be able to do that with a control. All right, also uh, I want to be able to change the color of the font. So here is a color chooser and I will provide some formulas for you to be able to create this and, 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 and definitely uh, help you get started with that. So uh, if I click blue, then it's going to give me a color picker to choose the shade of blue that I want. So I'm going to choose something like that. All right. And if I want to choose the color of my background, then I can also do that with another color picker. Uh, let's just do something. I'm not that, I'm not really an artist. Um, but let's find something that, well, I'm not an artist, so forgive me. Um, all right, and uh, maybe I want to make the text a little bit lighter so I can change the opacity here. Also, I'm thinking that, you know, that background color is a little too dark, so I can change the opacity on that as well. Of course, that makes my font a little bit, oof. Well, I'm not going to really give a great demonstration uh, because it's kind of a crappy program anyway. Um, so here we go. Um, now, um, I also want you to have the ability to save this as an image. So I have a render drop down menu here. If I click export, then it will give me a logo. Um, and so that is pretty much what I want. Um, I also have a, we also have edit. I want you to be able to undo. Uh, I don't, I, you can actually use a cue to do some redoing. Um, but considering how stressful you guys got off of the undo feature, I'm going to make both the undo and the redo optional, even though you should already have your undo implemented. All right, and that's basically what the project is. Good luck to you and wish you well.